This video is about optimizing your room. I'm Chris. I'm Patrick. And you know, Patrick, we're, we're obviously talking about projectors. And I think if you were to ask people, uh, you know, what affects the picture, uh, a lot of people might think the projector does or the screen does, but they're missing, there's literally three components and the third component is the actual room that you're in. Oh, absolutely. It depends on whether you have light control. It depends on if you have light dampening. There's some people that paint their ceilings completely black. Exactly. And, and then there's also the lifestyle factors. And, and you know, so I mean, the first thing you got to do is, of course, choose the screen. And there's so many different options. So many important options, too, because literally your, the, screen, the most important aspect of having and deciding on that screen is the room conditions and the lighting conditions. They have great ALR material out right now. If you have a multi-purpose room, that would obviously be what you want to use. And the key to that is the light has to come in from the sides. If it comes in from the same direction as the projector itself, no bueno, not gonna work. Right, but now if you do have a light controlled room and you do have darker walls and ceilings, then you're gonna be fine with a, with a matte white reference kind of screen. But it's not just the material. Uh, you, you know, the lifestyle comes into play from a standpoint of do you want a motorized screen? Uh, like, like I have a motorized screen because I have a multi-purpose room. And, and I think, don't you have a fixed screen? No, I have a motorized screen oh, you as do? well. Okay. Yep. But if we had a dedicated room, we would probably go with a fixed frame. And, you know, everyone, I'm going to say, I don't know about you, but the most common question I get uh, when people call me up about a JVC projector, they want to know... You know, I'm, I'm thinking I want a 120 inch screen and I'm thinking the projector is going to be X number of feet back and, and is it going to work? And, and I always like to pull out video calc on my phone, you know, punch in a few numbers and there you go. So here's a common example of how we might use uh, video calc. Uh, this is with the 120 inch screen size, which is very popular. And you can see here that when I put that in, it tells me that it's 104 inches uh, wide by a little over 58 inches high. Now, if we go to throw ratio, uh, using a very common throw ratio uh, uh, for, for JVC DILA projectors, minimum throw ratio of 1.4 to 1, maximum throw ratio of 2.8 to 1. We can see that it tells us that we want to set up the projector uh, at least, well, minimum distance is 146.4 inches, maximum is 292.8. If we want, we can look at that in feet. It's 12.2 to 24.4. Of course, we always tell you leave about 5% margin for error there. Uh, now let's look over at luminance. This is kind of cool. Uh, we can put in, we have a 2200 lumen projector, and we can choose, let's say, a 1.3 screen gain. And then it gives us a luminance value in foot Lamberts. Now, in this case, it's 66.93. To put that in perspective with 1080p SDR content in a completely dark room, we'd only need 14 to 16. With 4K HDR, we would want uh, about 30. And if we want that big TV experience uh, with some lights on in the room watching a football game, we'd want over 50. So you can see we're fine here in all of those scenarios. I absolutely love video calc. It's a great tool. But if you happen not to be able to have that or, or maybe no cell service and wherever you're at, you can utilize our, our application on our JVC website as well. Yeah. Here's the JVC projector calculator. And again, we're using a 120 inch screen uh, as an example. And one of the things I really like about this is how it lets you visualize uh, the shift range. So um, you can see that as you change the height of the projector where you're installing it, you can also see down here uh, how it affects the available shift range. So we can see how a change in vertical height affects horizontal shift. And we also have a QR code for that if you'd like to uh, try this a little bit more. Um, the other thing about screens is as you get bigger and bigger, you start to run into, well, where the heck am I going to put the speakers? That's true. That's true. So there are options for that as well. You can do a sound perf screen or a weave, right? That they're also exactly. called weaves. And it, it has a tendency, the better they work for sound to, perf to pervade through, the worse it is for the projector because some of that light does bleed through the back. Exactly. So, so you have to accept that loss, right? You've got, you've got to, 
I always calculate about a 10% loss uh, with, with a perfed or other form of acoustically transparent screen. Um, so, and you know, some folks have a lot of windows in the room and uh, I think then you want to think about, you know, if you're going to watch it during the daytime, you know, uh, look at something like motorized shades or other kind of light control. Um, and there's a couple other things I wanted to touch on too. Some of those screens actually help your contrast. They're darker screen mm -hmm. material. So mm -hmm. they'll, they'll give you a little bit better contrast in rooms like that. That, right. that are not light controlled. Also, let's not forget screen gain. I feel like well, I almost completely forgot about screen gain. It's a great point. Um, so, you know, everyone's worried about the lumens. And, uh, you know, so if you have a 1.0 gain screen, you're not adding or subtracting from the brightness. If you go with a 0.8 gain screen, yeah, you may get a little better black level, but you're losing about 20% of your light. And if you go with, say, a 1.3 gain screen, uh, now you're gaining uh, roughly 30%. So that can really, uh, you know, like uh, that can affect your performance if you care about things like 4K HDR. Absolutely. So the most important takeaway from this, I think, is we have a JVC projector that's going to suit any room with any application. But make sure that your screen and your theater is exactly what you want when you design it. I agree.